Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farina channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine gold coin. I'm also going to be going over a few reasons why you should potentially look into it as this does look like it could potentially be uh, one of those long term scarcity and a collectible investable coin. So let's have a little look and see whether it's worth the time. Okay, so let's take a little look over at their website and get a little bit of an understanding what gold cash is and potentially the reasons why it could be worth mining this. So Gold Cash has been around for around about two years and they released it in mid 2020. They do have some blockchain stats at the moment and they have surpassed two years. They have 200,300 blocks produced so far and 250,000 transactions. So that's not a lot of transactions at the moment, but the actual purpose of this coin in a sense is to be as valuable and as scarce as gold or that's their specific intention of itself so they're saying that they're going to have 200,000 coins available and from those 200,000 coins once they're mined it by i think it was 2048 then there will be no gold you know cash to be you know produced or mined or or anything like that so it will be you know, or how it intends to be a lot more scarce so you know it's one of those easily mineable coins it's for cpu and gpu so what i'm going to be doing is in this video guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to mine and i'll also be showing you my 12 hour mining result so guys the first thing that you're going to need to do to mine gold cash is you're going to need to get yourself a wallet now there's plenty of exchanges that you can sell it to once you do actually start to mine it but what you need to do is head yourself over to the website i'll leave the link in the description and if you run a windows or on linux you just going to need to press on the gold cash core and I'm not going to show you guys the installation process of this because I've already installed this myself, but it's very, very simple. You just follow it through and make sure that you have space available on your hard drive and make sure as well uh, to back that up as well so that you can be as safe as you can. And then what we need to do is take ourselves over to SRB Miner's GitHub. And then because we're on Windows, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and download the SRB Miner Multi, uh, Windows 64 bit, and then press on that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take you guys over to uh, my desktop Okay, so once you've found your SRB miner, once you've downloaded it, what you need to do is extract this from its folder. So you may need something like uh, WinZip or WinRAR or something along those lines. So what you need to do is just drag this folder out. And because I already have this folder, I'm just going to close this off. And then what we're going to need to do is take ourselves over into the folder itself. So here's mine here. What we're going to do is we are going to take ourselves over to the pool. So let's take a little look over at mining pool stats at the pools that's offering to mine gold cash at the moment. So as you can see, we've got several there on the list. And this pool at the moment, uh, PMP Mine, is the pool that I'm currently mining on at the moment. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to specifically mine to this pool. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and go back down to the gold cash wallet that you installed. And from there, what we need to do is go ahead and collect ourselves a receive address. So I'm going to copy the address here. But to create a new one, all you need to do is just put anything in the label, press request payment, and then press copy the address. So copy that address, take that over to there, choose the coin. So let's go down and find gold cash. Pick your stratum location, name your rig, whatever you'd like. Let's call this one just Ryzen 7. Now you get a choice between solo mining or no solo mining. And I'm going to press no on this one. But I am currently solo mining on one of my CPUs at this specific moment. As because I have seen a couple blocks being, you know, accepted already. So what you need to do is press the create a string. So you can just go ahead and you can copy that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the bat file that I've already made for my gold cash in my SRB miner. And what I would recommend to do is to go ahead and to take a look at this. And it will make it a little bit more easier for you to do. So as you can see, all the information there is the exact same from that I was in the pool, but there is a few things that are a little bit different. So as we are going to be using SRB miner, this is a multi um, device miner, so you can mine on CPUs and GPUs. Um, what you need to do is put in there, you know, dash dash disabled dash GPU. All right, just so that you're not mining on the GPU as well. And if you are not mining solo, then all you would do is specifically delete that out of there so that you don't have that. 
and then also as one thing i would also recommend is make sure that you put in your cpu thread count in there as well just to ensure that you get the most out of your cpu uh, if you are currently uh, you, you know using your pc at the time it can throttle it a little bit more if you do use all of the threads but i would recommend uh, to use all the threads just to make sure that you get the most out of your cpu as well now also one uh, note as well is that it does require administration for the MSR mod. So just take yourself over to the SRB minor uh, EXE and then go to the compatibility and press run this as administrator, press apply and press OK and then it should automatically every single time that you run it. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this bat file and let's take a little look at what it looks like when it's actually running. So let's find the bat file go ahead and click on it and if you've set your bat file up exactly the same as I have it should start up in the exact same way as I am right now so we had to do the system administrator and as you can see there it's using 16 threads for the CPU mining and your results and your hash rates will vary in comparison to mine especially as well with your ping currently I am in Europe and I'm mining to uh, a US pool uh, I would always recommend to mine to pools and things like that they're a lot closer to yourself now I also want to note as well guys that I'm using this on an AMD Ryzen 3700X I'm not using any overclocking or undervolting or anything like that but I am uh, thinking about doing some uh, overhooking and undervolting uh, videos coming up uh, on, on a couple of my CPUs. So let me know, guys, if this is something that you'd like to see. And if you guys are currently either, you know, mining gold coin yourself at the moment, uh, whether you think it's a worthwhile idea. But my conclusion is when it comes to gold coin is that this is one of those cryptocurrencies that's only going to have 200,000 coins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my hash rate on there just for several days. And then I'm going to accumulate up just, just an ever so slight small amount of it and then i'm going to just leave that there it to the side and you know fingers crossed that it does actually ever come anywhere close to near um or have any you know chance to be in anything like you know gold in, in its scarcity because uh, i understand it's trying to follow the the same type of lines of gold and the same type of lines as bitcoin so it's very very interesting as a project um there's there is a team behind it and there is a little bit of a community behind it as well there's not that many people mining it um, I'm not recommending everybody go out there to go ahead and mine this coin, but if it's something that you want to try to do, if you're something like somebody like myself that likes to do uh, a little bit of a speculative and hold a little bit of coins, you know, just for a, a potential pump or anything like that, then this is probably one of those coins that's probably worth, you know, grabbing and throwing into your bag and, you know, seeing if it could, you know, has a future or any sort of potential. But take a look over at the website. You let me know down in the comments whether it's something that you're interested in. And if you took anything or learned anything from this video, then please make sure to drop us a like and subscribe and also as well guys if you guys want to keep up to date and get in, you know information straight away and before everybody else does then make sure to hit the join button and i will be posting in there posts and shorts and videos so that you guys will know how to mine things before i've released them out to the general right guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace